All right, for this video, I wanted to cover uh, a common comment I'm receiving about tax refunds this year. And it's a, a question regarding, I think I got my tax refund from this company here, TPG Products SBTPG LLC. Is that my refund? Who are they? What role do they have with this whole thing? And so I'm gonna try to clarify you know what's going on here and you're also probably noticing that the amount of refund you thought you were going to get is being reduced by some amount okay so if you do see a deposit on your bank statement from this entity that is very likely your tax refund uh, so here's what's going on generally if you file your refund uh, claim uh, on form 1040 electronically you input your own bank deposit information so your bank name account number routing number uh, when you get your refund, it just goes directly to you. Okay, so that's normally what happens and you'll see a line item on your bank statement from the US Treasury. So that's pretty straightforward. However, if you ask TurboTax to process your refund and take their fee out of your refund, then you go down this this route at the top line item, right? So if you've asked TurboTax to process your return and take their fees out of the refund, they send it to a third party intermediary, which is responsible for taking the cash, deducting the fees, and then giving you the difference, okay? So let's look at an example here. So we have John, he files his 1040 electronically, and he, rather than pay up front or pay in advance, um, or at checkout using a credit card or debit card. He just says, yeah, take the fees out of my refund. I'm happy to do that. TurboTax agrees. So uh, John expects to get $3,000 back. Uh, TurboTax's fee is gonna be $59.99, and that's gonna come out of his federal tax refund. So two weeks later, John sees the deposit totaling $2,900.01. So what happened here? Well. What happened here is the refund was obviously reduced by the um, fee that he agreed to pay TurboTax, but then there was also a processing fee that came out from uh, the bank. Now, these amounts are, are likely going to differ from what you have. The point is, there's as soon as you involve additional parties here, they're likely going to charge you a fee. So when you see what the amount of refund you thought you were going to get and what you actually received, you have to do a little bit of mathematical gymnastics here and look at the records to try to figure out why it was your refund was reduced and it's likely related to these fees. So now let's look at example two here where it's vastly different. Uh, and this has unfortunately happened um, a lot to a lot of taxpayers this year. So uh, John files his 1040. Uh, he expects the same refund of three grand, the same fee, 59.99. Now, when John gets his refund deposit, from this TPG Products LLC, he only gets one thousand five hundred dollars and one cent. So he went from three three grand down to fifteen hundred. What happened? Well, what happened here was John's refund was not only reduced by the TurboTax fee and the bank processing fee, but the IRS found an error with his tax return. So the IRS found that on his tax return, he tried to claim. The, the $1,400 uh, third stimulus check, EIP-3, he tried to claim that again on his tax return, which artificially inflated his refund. And so what they did was they disallowed it and the IRS kept that money. So John's $3,000 refund was first reduced by $1,400, okay? The IRS kept that $1,400. They didn't give it to him because in their records, they've already paid him that third stimulus check. So now his refund's been automatically adjusted down to 1600. The 1600 went to TPG, and then they took their processing fee, they took TurboTax's fee out on behalf of TurboTax, and then they gave John the difference. So that's why he's only got $1,500 and one cent rather than the $2,900 and one cent or, or even the 3,000. So if you're using TurboTax and you have elected to use this program, where you're having them take the money out of your check. You're gonna see a refund deposit coming through this platform, not the US Treasury. And if the amounts differ, it could be for one of various reasons, right? The TurboTax fees, the bank processing fees, uh, IRS just flat out adjust your tax refund because they disagree with what you report on your return. So a lot of different pieces here. Um, unfortunately, you do have to do a bit of digging and try to figure out 
what happened. But the IRS, when they make adjustments, they are supposed to mail you a letter explaining the changes. So you might not get it immediately, but eventually you will get it. And um, you know whatever changes they've outlined there, obviously review it, make sure they're accurate because the IRS does make mistakes. They make a lot of mistakes. Um, so you wanna make sure that whatever changes they are making on your return are legitimate. All right, so that covers it for this video. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave me a comment below. Happy to answer when I can, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thank you.